special aid to the former president John Draman Mahama, a Ghanaian lawyer, Joyce Bawa Mokhtari. Uh, going into 2024 election, and uh, just a uh, interview a course with a uh, Onia FM, Onia TV. For Joyce Bawa Montari, for Kopimu Ewo Jumedi Nasano, and an uh, interview in Munu El Koso, and an uh, Okasa, etre, se going into 2024, Nyomebu or Noma was a Ghana for consider and Sana or Matuabano Edia Ma. Uh, one candidate or the other candidate, but then she said the only person I will my man is John Ramani Mahama based on said you see church and in same now all Kasano and I will make you confession. Now confession will make you know hey, with respect to about to a course in 2016. And I did to our trace 2016 about to our John Ramani Mahama Lucy you know, on one Kasano she will personally admit. Say 50% of what cost NDC's loss in the 2016 election was doomed so. And the Ama Asem way Abaya Asem Ewo Omega Namu Eye the fact say the NDC are not ready to admit so during their time they weren't able to fix doom so. Joyce Bawa Montari Chirese because of doom so. Ah, NDC and me and you who are Jumano and on a ma, a NDC lose the 2016 election. Now, all church and ceremony move and all make and say all just say all put things clear. I'm a gunner for whom aside doom so a course in 2016 election. No, you're my cracker. I can't want you who they say I can't who be a ma NDC lose or ban in 2016. Then going into 2024, I can't say I can't cry for any brand new uncle. Na Yunkuti in Samoa Joyce Bawa Montari, Ghanaian lawyer, and then special aid to the former president John Draman Mahama, or a deputy, or a former deputy minister of transport, eh, or my Ghana under the administration of John Draman Mahama and Samoa, or the other Jenny Brenyanko, na Yunkuti in Trimunibi, Emra. What do you think caused the, the his his loss? Because at that time, when have you assessed it? When you get up, as I said, you see a road here. You are talking about some of these things that um, Hospital Ridge, uh, UGMC, uh, KGT, Circle, market and, uh, Circle Dubai market, yeah. Airport, yeah, yeah, yeah. you lost. Let me tell you something that a strategist at the time told me. Okay, me say. When your opponents want to hit you, they'll hit you where it hurts most. Say, I'm corruption in sem but two more projects in Yina at a time when you least expect it just when doom so was biting and crippling look mr mahama was so frustrated at some point she said we'll feed ghana ah one year, year independent power producer da you haven't even tried it even the infrastructure you don't have the land to put them on you don't have even the connectivity you don't have the technology you don't have the experts you don't have you are also facing what an economic crunch and then you have to go out to the international markets and find a sustainable solution to a crippling power outage if you ask me personally from where i sit half of the reasons why we lost was because of the crippling power outages that, that greeted was, us they it, was not it, it was you know it could not have been because it was it was also partly the cause remember mr Muhammad had also gone through nine months of an election petition mm. when you were not even certain imagine you go through this grueling campaign you win an election freely and fairly your opponent lays into you immediately for nine months the nation was spellbound look that petition damaged the government in a way that most of us didn't even imagine before it ended and then you come into office six months later what Riesi said, crippling power crisis. My sister, few men, fewer leaders. Leaders have gone out for a lot less. This was huge. And I think sometimes the mama deserves even some empathy. Did you ever hear at the time 
any of our opposition contenders even offer to find help for the crippling power crisis, they blamed entirely everything. Look, they took all of us for our emotions. They took all of us for our businesses. They literally weaponized them so in a way that, ah, have you forgotten, we had actors and actresses, well, wired Ghanaians who were on the streets with lanterns. <clears throat> it was a very depressing period. It affected everybody, each and every one of us. There were times when you find that even people who were serving in government and had generated, for example, whenever the lights went off, they decided not to turn them on. Because you didn't want your neighbors to insult your government even more. You didn't want people driving past your house to say the whole street is in darkness and you have lights. I'm telling you, it was a difficult, you know, shut your eyes for a minute and imagine that one individual had to grapple with all this and then deal with a hostile opposition. I have never seen a more acrimonious campaign. She, Ghana no enya dia nipa bako can bring us all the solutions we require. But me, Oman Penny, I'll be ba be kampa. Obe bina kuma aye juma mai. Ah oye modest. Oh che Mr. Mahama, what in that? Say Mr. Mahama I did sika. I kwa tam private jet. E tutu tu kwa. And I said, the minutes I've ever catch your sense of my armor, it was so changey, a jury in the skies. What to be that? Now, me, if you ask her, me, who will be a, who has worked in these very large spaces in a store, the modesty and humility of John Dramani. Toza, how do I now say, listening to now, I hear you, as you said, 12 as we speak. Maybe I'll be a piano or what your account or a 24 hour economy. Yes. Um, your opponent says, Yes, Waka constitutional review amendment process, no, sir, it to be completed. Waka number say, of ministers, a number of ministers will be at least just about 60 or senior ministers. I don't expect any excretion. I mean, see, even some of our ministers at the time were totally opposed to excretion. And so, this is this is kind of mm. what I said. It wasn't so much. If you're going to be in a position for four years, mm. for eight years, excretion generally will not do much for you. But ask a question mm. time now. Framers of 1992 constitution, Eddie Ex two constitution. Now, a population, we should article 71 office holders now. And I am a lawyer, I know this. Mm. Look at the numbers. And the Supreme Court, how many judges do we have? 20 and counting. In Tibusha, even the numbers have gone up. But ask yourself, category soon, you know, are they still deserving 67 years after independence? These are things we need to look at. There are other ways in which we can build pensions mm. into persons who are entitled under Article 71. Have we explored all these options? They be into one share. Some of these proposals, no, they are very necessary. Times are changing. In but I'm sure Ghana when you mentioned the S Gracia, you heard some people said, ah, now why did we pay? So why are you now making it look like and they are all pa baby mutina wokasa? Unfortunately, and he responded. unfortunately and regrettable. Sure. If we are seeing you now, former presidents, and when you look at in America, for example, former presidents have come from very wealthy homes, mm. very rich individuals, but they still have entitlements. The state will take care of your health, will pay you a certain pension, will give you security, will help you travel when you need to, when you are unwell. It is important that we regularize some of these things for our former leaders. Persons who have contributed enormously to our society. Sure, my sister. Mm -hmm. And yes, say you can but here. And then we are also there's so much graft and corruption. And yeah, no tia. President, if you office, may it twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Seriously, go to the banks and see individual paychecks. Go to private institutions, call public uh commission see koshe. the salaries that they receive. GMPC, GP, co shep CEOs, almost salaries. I told you, you can get one CEO. The deputies grab a five, bear six. Look at the amounts they draw. You see, what we don't want is a society that is not equitable or one that inequities will cause people to get poorer. What we have, Cecilia, in this administration is a huge injustice. Our poor have gotten poorer. You see, Let's continue to advocate. Say, be pay leaders. Ah, you want them here, Obi? I want them here, 
What you say? Mm. Now you can't make a chance about say, hey, bear six months near crime, who is sicker than tea? It was so people be demand me, shimmy, pocket moon, a gun, I eddy. What you say? Well, you know, look, he has mm. huge burdens, huge financial uh, out, 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 a shiny light bill cry. Mm. What you say? Now, one penny life, they say, many will we can't live like them. Omo or Nipa Mosho Mosso. People who depend on them, sure, whether you are in office or out of office, people still come. You should see the demands. Nipa, I'm going to catch your crown, but I'm going to petition every member of Parliament. See, I can't hear anybody. I can't hear anybody. I ain't on Coca Wants him. I need to be a copy. Be na toss. He now be be in the photographer. Yes. Obey your petition, Abba. Oh, he's a MD here. He's a CEO here. He's not paying us. He's not. Think about it. People are struggling. When there is, meaning even out of office, he's still working. Look all the time. Because think about it, his voice goes very far. Mm. It's like when you want people to hear and you want to advocate for something very positive, who do you go to? You go to the chief's palace, you go to the queen mother's. Mm. So naturally, you would come to people who have been served in public office that you know them, that you have access. And we have an office that has an open door policy. So journalists, <coughs> media people, also people come there to share their views. Share, my sister. Ghana ye deeper. So, Madam uh, Joyce, yes. in spite of uh, challenges now, you are telling us that Mahama had a, a clear good plans for Ghana. Ah, now he was developing Ghana some way, somehow. Would you, are you saying, sir, Mahama free office, no, as a Ghana corner chickakra? Oh, Ghana corner chibibri, and yakakra, and na me church emunu. Chef, for example, schools are na easy, for example. Me na e block. E blocks, we have abandoned them. Almost must see you. Now, me say it, me say do chim the constituency. Bosom chim. School, no, would you not quite in school? Now, we share school. Zokoshe, me poor or media person be our man uncle school and coach a picture. Bro, she, if we don't start to demand continuity from our leaders, every bread, me say them now three, and me by a canal can was. Terminal three, now a ten key project too, from an international investor. Omo omo ba si kwa mudi bano. Rules a etoso cry doso. Enya dia obeti miya dia ya 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 kaya kaya na se wo chuchu. You know what I mean? They are usually state to state with huge insurance clauses. Enti sa si kano. Enti mi fa niya basa basa. Omo ba what they are asked to do, the plans they have, the designs they have. You follow accordingly. In fact, they come with anti-corruption clauses even. Nini na shemu because when you say Europe there, they don't joke with graft. Until we are European investor, kwa na uba ubi krum, na ube seni sika. Your country will actually hold you responsible. That is why they have all the... Shere nyoma ya happy in terms of aviation industry nyoma nyoma. You see, we take a lot of things and we take them lightly. Shere krum hayete. Under NDC, we expanded... KIA. Kutuka International Airport. Terminal 3. Tamale Airport got a huge upgrade yeah. and got Brazilian funds from an Exim bank to continue the project. Same for Kumasi in particular. Kumasi even to get the land. I was at the Ministry of Transport for a very long time. Uh, securing the land was no joke because of encroachment, because of paying compensation and many other reasons why getting the land even for construction wasn't so, easy. So MPP cannot claim Tamale or Kumasi as their own. If we live in a fair world, mm. when you claim something as your own, what do you mean? The people who use the facility, they are conscious of what happened and when they were using it, they knew what it looked like and what it looks like now. When we had that flight takeoff from Tamale, for example, all the way to Mecca, was that not a beautiful thing? Did you see people in the subsequent years lying around the compounds of the Hajj village <coughs> waiting for flights? No. Did you see the congestion that we used to face even at our one international airport because of flights going to Hajj? No. All we did at the time was to introduce what? Aeronautical lightning systems so that in the evenings flights can move. Look, our airports shut down, especially the local ones, the regional ones, by 5 p.m. So if you get a flight that is delayed even by an hour or two hours, you struggle to land because air control will no longer be available to help you land. These are the things that we need to start to incorporate into our system. What you need to do for an airport, I study transportation, build efficiency. 